Hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to learn about what are relational operators and the different types of relational operators. What exactly is a relational operator? It compares two operands and returns the value either true or false. You have six different types of relational operators. Let's look at each one of them in detail. The first relational operator is the greater than operator. It compares if the left hand side operand is greater than the right hand side operand and returns the value true. You can try changing the values of A and B and see what results you get. The next relational operator is the less than operator. You can try this block of code and see the difference. Now we have the equal to operator. It compares both the operands and checks if they are equal. If they are equal, it returns the value true, else it returns false. You can try the block of code and see what results you get. Next we have the not equal to operator. It compares both the operands and checks if they are not equal. You can try this code out and see the difference. Next we have the less than equal to operator. It checks if the left hand side operand is less than or equal to the right hand side operand and returns the value true or false based on the condition. You can try this code and change it and notice the difference. Similarly, we have the greater than equal to operator. It checks if the left hand side operand is greater than or equal to the right hand side operand. You can notice the difference on the screen and try it out and see if you're getting the output true. Now we've covered all six relational operators. It's time for a challenge. The first challenge you have to do is try to fill in the print statement with the correct relational operator to get the output true. I'm sure most of you all have got that right. The operator you need to use is the less than operator. Now it's time for your second challenge. Can you try to complete this print statement with the appropriate relational operators? You have 60 seconds to try it. Hope you guys got it right. Here's the solution. Now it's time for your third challenge. In this challenge, we have two strings. Can you try comparing them by filling in the print statement with the appropriate relational operator? Can you try it? This one was a little tricky, right? So here's the solution. This brings us to the end of our video. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.